Hi all, this is Tim Olson with Evolution Software. In this video, we explore the Mesh to Solid tool. In particular, the Component Simplify option, which rebuilds collections of facets into an editable solid. Let's open up our file, which consists of triangular facets from an original STL file. And let's go to the Mesh Tools Mesh Analysis and examine our file, which we see has 5,800 watertight triangles. This part is suitable for the PowerPack Mesh to Analytic tool. In our first attempt to create a solid, we're going to turn off Component Simplify to see the results. This will result in a simple stitched operation of the facets. And to confirm the results, I'll do a quick verify mass properties on the part, where we can see we get a valid a volume associated with it. Let's go ahead and undo this operation, and we're going to do the same thing, only this time we're going to turn Component Simplify on. This will decompose the part into many simplified segments that are then stitched together into a larger, more complex solid. And let's go ahead and inspect our results, and now we can see with our cursor as we go over some of the circles that the part has been converted into uh, not only circles, but cylinders, planes, and, and extrusions. And as a, as a solid, we can do operations, we can do solid modeling operations, such as a chamfer. Let's go ahead and apply a tenth of an inch chamfer onto it. Or we can go ahead and uh, defeature the part. Uh, let's go ahead and just select faces and use the delete key to remove these small uh, features from our part. Lastly, let's go ahead and take this, this hole and uh, let's, uh, let's move it down. We're just going to translate the face. And then we'll uh, grab that face and offset it and uh, make it a larger hole through the part. Finally, let's go ahead and make a 2D drawing from our 3D part and add a few dimensions. We'll go to our model sheet tool and have it generate an automatic four view uh, of the 3D part. And then we're going to go select our dimension tool and pick uh, some of the circles on it and have it automatically uh, dimension them with the proper values. Thanks for watching this video of the Meshed Analytic Tool. For more information, please visit us at www.mastervacad.com.